everyone, this is Lana from Lana Under Pressure. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to tie or truss your chicken and prepare it for the rotisserie in either the Instant Vortex or the Omni. Now, I've made rotisserie chickens multiple times in the Instant Vortex Plus and also in the Instant Omni. And in both of them, they come out absolutely fantastic. I mean, it's better than, you know, buying it at the store or Costco or anything. I, it's one of our favorites in our family. However, it can be a little challenging, especially for beginners, because you have to uh, prepare the chicken uh, in a certain way. So you have to truss it or tie it with twine, and you also have to place it on the rotisserie spit in both of them to make sure that when it rotates it's balanced and you know that can be a little intimidating when you first do it so in this video I'm just going to show you not necessarily a recipe but how to tie and truss your chicken for both the vortex and the omni and also how to place it on both of the spits so that when you place it into the oven and you start cooking it'll rotate perfectly and you'll get a great tender chicken each time. So what you need to do a rotisserie in both the Vortex Plus and the Omni is of course you need the spit uh, with the forks and um, you can notice that this is the spit uh, for the Vortex Plus and this is the one for the Omni and even though the Omni is uh, larger than the Vortex both of these can still only hold uh, the maximum is a four pound chicken or roast so um, it's really important that you don't do anything over four pounds even though you know you may try a five pound and it may work the first time or a few times after that what's going to happen is um, if you keep going over the pound limit it's going to either wear out the motor or it's going to break the housing so definitely do four pounds or less um, and then second what you need is a piece of kitchen twine and this is really important and then um it's also important to make sure that you have a long enough piece i like to use about a 48 inch piece of twine because you know, you can always cut out the extra if it's too long, but you can't add if it's too short. So I like to make sure, because once you get started, you don't want to have to, you know, go and cut another piece of twine. So once you have these two things, uh, you're ready to get your chicken that needs to be defrosted, and we're ready to truss. So I have two chickens here, two four pound chickens, and the one on the left is already done for you, so you know kind of what it's supposed to look like. And we're gonna be working with the one on the right. Now. How you want to position it is you want to make sure that it's breast side up and the way you remember that because I always forget is that when you look down on it it looks kind of like a heart and you want the point of that heart facing you and so that's how we're going to position the chicken so that we can start to truss it or tie it with our twine. So you're going to take the midpoint of the twine and you're going to slide it down the back underneath the chicken and then bring it up around the wings kind of like up through its armpits and then cross it over. That's the best way to describe it. Now you're gonna bring the twine back towards you running along the breast, but above the wings. And then you're gonna bring it down and you're gonna cross it and then make one knot so that it goes underneath that point of the breastbone. As best as you can and tie it tight. Now you're gonna go ahead and you're going to loop the ends of the string under the legs, then over the top of the legs, like around the thighs, and then over top of the legs. And then you're going to cross and tighten. Now sometimes the twine can kind of come, you know, doesn't go around the thigh very well. So, you know, just go ahead and grab the leg and kind of reposition it so that you really want it underneath the thigh. Then you cross and tighten. Then you're going to take the twine and you're going to loop it two times around the ends of the leg, like where the bone is, cross and tighten. And if you can get the ends of the leg to cross together, that's even better. So when you make the knot, you want to make sure that it's tight to keep the legs together so as it's spinning, you know, it doesn't flop around and it's better balanced. So now while you're holding the two ends of the twine, flip the bird kind of on its belly around like that. And then you're going to bring the twine around towards where the, you know, the back of it and you're gonna make a really tight knot. And I would make a double knot there just to make sure it doesn't come undone. Just like that. 
And now you can cut the excess twine and you're done. So now the last thing you want to do is flip the bird over and you want to tuck the wings underneath that twine that's running along the breast side and that will keep the wings really tight near the body of the chicken so that while it's uh, turning on the rotisserie uh, it won't flop down or touch the heating element. Now that your chickens are trussed and ready, I'm gonna show you how to place them on the rotisserie. And first we're gonna do the rotisserie spit for the Omni. I like to put the fork and tighten it at one end first before I put it through the bird. Then you're gonna take the other end and breast side up, you're gonna place it through where the neck would be and all, you're gonna place it all the way through and then have it go underneath the legs. This holds it in place a little bit better. Then you're going to take the forks and you're going to push them into the breast meat. Now, if you notice on this bird, it's not really in the middle of the rotisserie spit. So what you can do is loosen the screw and you can push the bird down more towards the middle of the spit and then tighten the screw again. And it's okay if the screw isn't right where the divot is at the top, it's, it'll work just as fine. And it's actually a great tip that helps it balance a lot better. So make sure that first screw is tightened with the fork. Then get the other fork on the other end. And you're going to thread that through the other side. And you're going to go ahead and push the forks through into the thigh meat. And you want to sandwich it or push the forks really well together. Because the more the fork is into the meat, the better that it will hold it and it won't turn or flop around while it's rotating. Then you tighten the screw and you're ready to go. So for the Vortex Plus, it's almost the same. The spit is a little smaller uh, and it's a little bit more difficult. So you're still going to start out by threading one of the forks through first and that's the divot. So you're going to line that up with the screw and you're going to Tighten the screw as tight as you can first. And once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and insert the other end into the top of the bird and through the cavity. Now with the Vortex Plus, it's a little more difficult because it's a shorter spit and also it doesn't have a point at the end like the Omni does. So it can be a little trickier to get it to go all the way through. But once you do, you're going to push the forks into the breast meat and then you also want to have the legs on this one on top of the spit just like with the other and so you can go ahead and do that and once you've gotten that out of the way here's a trick for the vortex plus that works really well in order to thread the other fork it can be a little difficult once the bird is already on the spit so what i like to do is stand it up on one end and then it makes it much easier to thread the fork onto the spit. And you're going to push the fork into the thigh meat really well. And then you're going to go ahead and screw it in. And it's okay, again, if the screw isn't, doesn't match up with that divot, it's no problem. Just make sure it's screwed really tight. And then you're ready to go. If you found this video helpful, um, I would love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel or subscribe to my blog at www.lanaunderpressure.com and happy cooking.